So welcome to Charge Heads UK. Um, so what have we been doing? We uh, obviously took out the engine and all the other bits on the wedge and uh, I was waiting for an update from Electrogenic. Now uh, Electrogenic did come back to me and uh, very reasonable pr price in terms of the quote um, and it was a new electric motor um, to be plumbed into the uh, prop shaft to spin the diff and away we go. And the range was amazing, actually. Uh, really, kind of took me uh, took me by surprise. They they said about 180 mile range, 170, and obviously that's summer, not winter, obviously, because in the winter uh, normally drops by at least 40 percent. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised, and um, in a, in a positive way. Um, however, in reflection, something didn't feel quite right, and it's mainly the base of the car was my worry uh, as you've seen in the previous video um, the trailing arm suspension uh, which someone kindly mentioned even before uh, we saw it on the uh, video previously where we've taken everything apart taking the fuel tanks out uh, is going to be a weak point so what I'm gonna do is after speaking to a couple of people is the new idea um, always got lots of ideas let's uh, let's see if we can uh, push through with this one um, is to in a way chop off the back of the suspension and uh, put a new suspension from maybe something like a Tesla Model S or Model 3 I don't know if that's possible on a Model 3 yet I've not gone into the detail yet but I just wanted to update uh, everyone just to let people know what the wedgie build uh, was doing um, so the idea, very similar to the Zero EV build, I suppose, the Skyline one that they did, where they basically put in a Tesla Model S rear end and large drive unit. Ultimately, that's what I want to do. Um, I don't want to rely on certain parts of the TVR which aren't going to be um, strong enough, essentially, um, because like I said before, I didn't want to go down the route of the Hyper 9 motor, which links to the gearbox, which is a great conversion. And, you know, if, you, if you're not too bothered about uh, big power um, and you just want a really good uh, EV conversion for your classic car, then it's a fantastic way to go, uh, especially if you want to keep your gears. Um, but I want, you know, really the whole idea was to have more power. And I think a Tesla drive unit will encompass that uh, better than anything else will. And then, um, yeah, the idea is to have a something attached, welded, secured at the back, making sure the suspension, alignment, everything is millimetre perfect. Um, so I need to start getting some quotes for that. I'm hoping Electrogenic can help. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just a question of making sure it's right first time. I don't want to do the conversion and think, oh, do you know what, I should have done that, should have done that. Let's do it right first time. If it even costs a bit more money, let's, you know, let's do it right uh, first time. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, what's going on with the wedgie build at the moment. Someone is coming to uh, look at the engine and, and running gear. If anyone's got more than £1,500 for engine gearbox and all the bits to, you know, ECU, air filter box, starter motor, alter, uh, alternator, then let me know. I've uh, got a few people interested in the exhaust and bits, which is great. Um, these RX8 seats, um, I've decided that I'm not probably going to use them. I, I, might, I might keep them for charge head seats, uh, maybe if I have some guests on the show. Uh, someone I was talking to uh, yesterday who might be interested in uh, giving their view on EV conversions and electric cars, who's uh, very much into his cars, so maybe uh, a bit of that. So today um, I'm actually taking the, let me just, I'm taking the TVR out for a spin because we're going to go to the super uh, car show at Sharnbrook, uh, part of petrol hedonism. Because uh, I thought, do you know what, that might be a good place to do some uh, interviews and get to see some nice cars. Um, although she's looking a bit dirty, I've put some new plates on the uh, the charge head support vehicle. So just boost it down like so. There we go. Just so people can see me, uh, I would say coming, but it's leaving. Um, but yeah, the TVR is looking nice and clean, although it's starting to spit with rain, but it's humid as hell, so uh, we should be okay. But I've got the roof just in case. But yeah, she's looking nice and clean. Uh, the uh, GR 
Learner Edition, uh, my stepsons, which we purchased recently. So yeah, that's the update. Um, I would say that you know it's just going to be a question of. Uh, it's not going to be immediate. It's not going to be. It's not going to be this summer uh, that the wedge is going to be done. It would be great. It would be great if the wedgie build was done. I'm going to make sure the microphone's uh, done properly. Um, it would be great if the wedgie build was done sooner rather than later, but like I said, I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure it's right, make sure it's got decent power. Um, and yeah, I don't want to let you know the charge heads down for uh, for a good car to uh, you know promote, promote the website and you know uh, try and encourage more petrol heads to get involved, basically. Um, but I don't think there's any other updates other than that. So uh, yeah. Uh, either this will carry on to the supercar show uh, interviews or it'll be a separate video. See you later.